Hey, Shalom family. So today I want to talk about three critical things for us to understand about uh, this unveiling that's been happening. So in these last days, there has been a uh, revealing and an unfolding and a returning to understanding the Hebrew language, um, understanding the Hebrew, the identity of the Hebrew people, and understanding the context of Hebrew culture, right? So I want to talk about as this has been unfolding and this revelation has been coming to the forefront, people have been returning to and gaining knowledge of these things. Uh, there's three things that I think that are important that we understand about that. And the first thing is that these things are meant to be a support, right? These are tools in the arsenal, right? So these are things that are not, um, you know, sometimes people talk about hidden things in a sense of these are things that are secret or that are, you have to go deep into something to, to understand it and, you know, esoteric type of things. And that's not what this is. This is not something that is deep and un, not to be understood that people have to tap into. Th these are things that are basic. These are things that are history. These are things that are plain to see however they become hidden to us because we're so we become so detached from it by time uh through tribulation you know we have become detached from these things um so it's become hidden to us we've become blind to these things but they're not secret things these are things that are plain that are basic these are foundational building blocks um, that are very um, critical to our learning, to our understanding, right? So so for me, as I came to understand who I was, um, as far as who the identity is of the Hebrew people um, and who the, what, what the, the understanding of the language that the scriptures is written in, which is written in Hebrew language, and then going into the context to understand the culture of the people and the mindset, right? These things have been, tools for me right they've been a support they've supported my understanding they've been re they've reinforced uh they were reinforcements when you reinforce something you may have a table or something in the legs uh that has legs on the table but it may not be as sturdy um as it needs to be to support putting weight on the table so you may put an extra bracket on it to reinforce the reinforce the strength of it right so there's there's a leg there, but you put something in there to reinforce it to make sure it can hold what needs to be put on top of it, right? So this is what the understanding and learning of these things has done for me, you know, and I think that it's, it, it will do for all of us who are, you know, um, availing ourselves to learn these things is that it reinforces what the Most High has been revealing and giving us understanding on. You know, you may have a, a, a bit of understanding a lot of people accuse people of not uh, having any understanding unless they know these things. But it's not that. It's that it will it will reinforce <laughs> and strengthen your understanding. It's a tool. The first thing, first critical things that these things are a tool. They're a tool to help you to reinforce your understanding of the word and of the what the word is trying to reveal. And how this fits into our life, into our culture, into our history, how how to make it all one one picture, one solid understanding. So understanding the Hebrew language, right, gives you uh, a, 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 a understanding into what the Most High was trying to say, what the writers were trying to say, what is it that He wants us to understand? Because the Hebrew language is very concrete, right? The Hebrew language and culture. Uh, it's concrete meaning that it it is not open to all kinds of interpretation. It'll give you a visual picture of what is what it is saying, and that picture is going to most of the times it's going to be coming from agriculture. It's going to be coming from the elements of the earth that we're dealing with every day. The elements of the household. It's going to be dealing with those things that we can clearly see, and it fits into a concrete picture so that you. Um, you can't come up with all these different ideas and philosophies and, and, you know, everybody has a different interpretation. It brings it back to a place where we can clearly understand what the father was intending 
what he was saying. So as we understand the language, we understand uh, the culture and the context of the scriptures and the history of it. And then we understand the identity of the people. It, gives a, it brings us um, to be able to clearly understand prophecy, to understand uh, um, the things that were spoken of to come um, and, and what a certain people should expect. And uh, so it puts us together with history. We have to have roots <laughs> to be able to, you know, you have to be connected to roots. So it, it paints a big picture as a whole. It's something that is not secret. It is not um, esoteric. It's something that is clear. It's a foundation that we have been removed from by way of time and by way of the tribulations that we have we have been through over that time, right? And that the Most High is graciously bringing back to the forefront so that we can become more, so that we can be reinforced, be solid to get a clearer understanding of where we are, right? So the first thing to understand is that these things are helpful, beneficial tools, building blocks. I encourage everyone to avail themselves and to humble themselves to be able to learn and grow in these things so that we can understand um, greater this walk um, and, and, and what, what is going on in this time, right? So the first thing is that these are these are tools. These are, um, for me, it was meat on the bones. <laughs> there was bones in my walk. There's a structure to my walk. I had a walk prior to these things that was solid. You know, I had the bones of the skeleton, but this just added some meat to the bones that, you know, that increased my walk. Right. So praise y'all for that. So that's the first thing that we have to understand. The second thing that we have to understand is that while it is a support, it is not a substitute, right? This is a support in our walk. It is not a substitute for the meat of our walk, for the for the uh, uh, the substance of our walk with the Most High. So, understanding Hebrew, understanding uh, as far as the language, understanding the culture, or even uh, embracing aspects of ancient uh, cultures, and even uh, Knowing the identity of the Hebrew people, these things are supports. They're great supports, but they're a very flimsy substitute for for returning to uh, the Most High Yah, for returning to Him through the Messiah, and and growing spiritually, uh, uh, maturing in our walk, right? Uh, developing spiritual disciplines, you know, growing in prayer, growing in the fruit of His Spirit. Right, being able to get healing from the things that we have endured in this life and getting deliverance from strongholds in this life, these things can support in that and supporting your understanding, but they are not a substitute for those things. And some people are using though the knowledge of those things as a substitute for the substance of their walk. And it was never meant to be. It's a very flimsy substitute. It's an inadequate substitute. It's an awesome support, <laughs> awesome reinforcement. But it's a horrible, 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 horrible substitute for the meat and the substance of our walk, which is walking, being able to um, walk closely with the Father and develop that that uh, intimacy where we allow Him in <laughs> to our to to cleanse our soul. You know, to change our hearts, to uh, test our motives, right, and to be able to bring truth into us. A lot of people call a lot of people will call the knowledge of the Hebrew language, the, he the identity of the Hebrew people, and the um, understanding of the culture and returning to certain aspects of it. They will call that coming into the truth. That is not coming into the truth. The truth coming into the truth is when we allow the truth. Yah's spirit, the spirit of truth to come into us and to transform us from the inside out and to bring us a knowledge of Elohim, right? Knowledge of the Most High Yah. It says, my people perish for lack of knowledge, knowledge of Elohim. Go back and read uh, Hosea, uh, I think that's Hosea chapter four, start at the beginning of verse one and see how he unfolds that. And he's saying that there's, there's all kinds of things going on. Um, that's wickedness. The people are forsaking the knowledge of Elohim, the knowledge of Yah, the knowledge of His Torah, His under His uh, His instructions, His teachings, His uh, uh, His laws, His ways. People are forsaking that, and they're walking in all kinds of unrighteousness towards each other. There's no uh, There's no 
priesthood that is uh, determining the clean from the unclean. You know, he said you're not even you're not even able to 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 reprove each other. You know, because it, because there's, there's there's no one who is clean. You know, so there's, it all ends in strife, right? And that we see that happening today, right? So it's, it's not the knowledge of the Hebrew identity, the knowledge of the Hebrew language, the knowledge of the Hebrew um, culture that is going to uh, be the substance of our walk. Is the knowledge of our Elohim, our Mighty One, our Yah, the knowledge, His knowledge, His Ruach, His Spirit of Truth that we allow to come into us to be a mirror that we look into that reflects to us who we are and allows us to 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 change and and be transformed to to look into the and look into his reflection to see who he is and understand his character and his heart that is the substance of our walk so the first thing to understand is that was that 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 the Hebrew language identity culture is a awesome support it is a reinforcement it's a great beneficial tool number 2 is that it is also a flimsy substitute. It is, does not does not elevate you, you know, um, um, in your walk as far as uh, it, does, it is not a substitute. It does not take the place of coming into truth, allowing truth to come into you through his spirit and allow his word to wash you and transform you in, into his image. Right. So that's so that's the number two thing to uh, understand that it is not a substitute. So don't. Don't a lot of people are coming in through that vein of the knowledge of these things without having developed the 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 spiritual walk, right? And 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 you'll find that you you're you're you're, reinfor you're reinforcing the legs on the table without, but you you haven't developed the legs on the table. <laughs> you're trying to put up the reinforcement, but you haven't developed the legs, right? The legs, the legs being reinforced, you know what I mean, by these things is is good. You know, but substituting the legs for the reinforcement is not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to carry you to where you need to be. So, um, so that's the first thing. The second thing, and the third thing, is that uh, the understanding of the Hebrew language and the culture, and knowing the identity of the Hebrew people, is a uh, uh, awesome support. It's a flimsy substitute. And the third thing is that it is a horrible weapon. <laughs> it is a horrible weapon to use against other people, right? So, and this typically happens when that second portion is miss missing, when 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 you are using these things as a substitute for your own uh, substance in your walk, then that knowledge will puff you up. And now you will, you, are, you become a weapon and utilize these things against other people. So now you are attacking other people and instead of instead of the knowledge, understanding the Hebrew being something that is supporting you in your walk, you're using it as a weapon to tear down other people uh, who you feel like doesn't have the understanding that, that the understanding that you have. So being, knowing the identity of the Hebrew people should not be a weapon in the arsenal to tear down other people, to tear down your own people who don't have this knowledge or to tear down people outside of uh, uh, of, of various uh groups or whatever this is not a a weapon <laughs> to use against people you know so because you'll understand if you have the substance of your walk that 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 uh this is not about bloodline <laughs> this is not just about bloodline gives you history the blood the bloodline gives you a history because there's a people who are missing a history and understanding that gives you a history and it gives you a context for your faith. It gives you the context that's built around this thing. But now we're in a place in, in that history where it is not your bloodline that saves you. It is becoming, it is not being a Israelite that saves you. It is being a Hebrew in the sense of being one who has crossed over from life to death. Being one who has crossed over like Abraham did. Who was crossed over to, to, to a place of faith and trust in the Most High Yah. Uh, for salvation, you know, and, and grafting into his Messiah, right? Being grafted into Israel through his Messiah. So bloodline is will let you know your history because we all should know our history. And there's a people who have been cut off from their history. Understanding that gives some meat on the bones, but it does not elevate you. It does not make you higher than any other people. Um, You are, you have the opportunity to come into be being a Hebrew because you, we have all been as Gentiles in this world, right? We've all been as Gentiles. We've all been as one without Yah, right? So we are all being grafted back into this tree in, in this point of history, 
right? So, um, so it is not to understand the identity of the people to weaponize it to to now say that the people, who, uh, the other people, other nations are not, uh, you know, to use it as a weapon against other nations who, you know, many have been grafted into the tree that you are just now coming back into. <laughs> many who love the Most High Yah and have been walking with Him, you know, you cannot now make your identity a weapon against them. Um, it, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. It shows that there's, there's not an understanding. Um, there's, there's an understanding that's missing about what 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 it actually means right so um understanding the hebrew language is a great tool but if you use that as a um go back to identity and many people are using that, that identity against even people who are of that bloodline identity who don't know it and have not embraced that or accept it th that still does not mean that they don't have the substance of their walk with the most high you can't look at somebody and say because they identify as whatever that they don't have that they don't have a knowledge of Elohim. <laughs> so it, it, it is a horrible weapon. It's, it's a flimsy weapon. It's you're shooting blanks, right? And and same thing with the Hebrew language. Through the spirit of Yah, many people have see the Hebrew language gives a concrete, right? It gives you an understanding um that is that has elevated me in my understanding of certain things. However, I had an understanding of many of these things prior to this, right? It doesn't, you know, while things like the Strong's Concordance may not be the best at at uh, breaking down and bringing things back to a source, it did it did some <laughs> it did some kind of uh, it helped, you know. So people can gain the spiritual understanding of what's necessary to walk in this walk without having learned it from the Hebrew language, right? You know, I'm not saying that the Hebrew language I already already we already talked about that that is beneficial, right? It's beneficial. And, and, and some things, you know, you won't understand clearly until you go back to that root. But that doesn't mean that people are walking around because they don't know the Hebrew language clueless of what Most High Yah desires, what the Most High Yah expects of us to walk in. You know, because I, I had understanding of what the Most High expected up to what he revealed to me in my walk. You know, I got I got the point. You can get the gist of something without having the details of something. So we got to come off of the pride of thinking that, well, you don't know nothing unless you know the Hebrew. You know, that's that's just not true. <laughs> it's just not true. I'm going to keep saying both sides because we have the tendency to hear things and polarize and go to the opposite extreme. You've heard me say that it's greatly beneficial. <laughs> it adds great meat to the bones. It's a great stabilizing support. However, it is not. It's a flimsy substitute. And it is not a weapon that you get have a right to now shoot at other people because you've attained these things. And the same thing with with the culture, right? So we are returning to the kingdom culture, the ancient path of the Most High Yah, right? So um, he has given us these tools. He's given us, you know, there's a reason why in this end time he's 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 uh, increasing our understanding, um, and the increase of this understanding is doing it's accomplishing the will of Yah and it's also uh accomplishing uh the will of the adversary depending on the state of our own hearts because an increase in knowledge can uh deepen your walk in relationship with the most high right but an increase in knowledge can also <laughs> puff you up and lead you on the path of destruction if you if you, if you're not in a place of healing and humility Right. So it's, it's, it's increasing and it's escalating, but it's escalating us in two different directions. Right. There's some that is taking it's increasing and speeding up the path to destruction. And there's some that is that is building up and, and supporting on the path to life. Right. It's just like increasing in knowledge. It's just like increasing in money. Right. Some people, um, you know, the more money they get, you know, it, it, it just takes them further on the path of destruction that they weren't able to ascertain before because they didn't have the money to do certain things and their increase in money just helps them now to do things now now you're you know we have money to uh obtain drugs to obtain women to obtain things that are taking you down the path of destruction while other people the increase in money now is going to increase their ability to serve the most high it's going to increase their ability to uh to help other people and to build you know, it's all about what's in our heart. These things, the things that we're given have to filter through what's in our spirit, what's in our heart, you know. Um, so that's why it's so critical that we become healed, that we 
uh, use these tools not as a substitute, but that we are um, using it to help us to to grow in the substance of our walk. That we are allowing the Most High to heal us, so that the filth, so that as He adds to us, uh, we're able to filter it through a vessel that has been healed, and that uh, that is walking in humility, so that these things are a blessing, that they're beneficial to us, they're they're profitable to us, and not destructive to us, right? So we don't want what the Most High has given to to increase us, to to destroy us because we have not uh, started off with the most important thing, which is being at His feet. <laughs> being at His feet will always be the most important thing, you know. So it's it's a matter of a lot of people like to take things and pit it against each other. There's a it's a matter of priority, right? It's not a matter of you know people will hear this and be like, oh, you're speaking against Hebrew language, identity, culture. You know, and that's clearly not what I said. It's a matter of priority. It's a matter of what is of of things have to be put in a order, right? They have to be put in a priority. <laughs> they have to be prioritized, right? So the most important thing in, in, is to put the first thing first to be at His feet, to to uh, allow Him to to work out our soul salvation with fear and trembling, allow Him to change and transform our hearts, right? Um, so that we are, um, we are, we're humbling ourselves at his feet so that we are not becoming prideful so that the Most High has to oppose us, but that we're walking in humility and um, allowing the Most High to change us, to show us ourselves so that we're not looking at everybody else. <laughs> because the, the key, a, a clue to the fact that somebody, that somebody is not allowing the Most High to show them themselves is that they're always talking about everybody else. What everybody else is doing and not doing and and loaded up and shooting a gun at everybody else. But when you are allowing the most high to walk with you, you 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 are seeing you. <laughs> you are like this. And you're reflecting back to yourself. And then it says once you get that uh plank out of your own eye, you know, you're not so busy trying to get the the speck out of other people's eyes. The the one thing that you could find wrong, but you are dealing with the plank that you realize is in your own eye. And once you do that, then uh then you 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 gain the 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 humility the love, the compassion, and the wisdom to be able to now help other people to get what's in their eye out, right? So we have to walk on the path of humility and healing, to allow the Most High to heal us, to tear down everything in us that needs to be torn down so that he can build us back up again um, and, um, you know, break all of our strongholds. Um, and have a genuine walk with the Most High. The, the walk, our walk with the Most High is not built on the knowledge that we ascertain because the Most High already has all of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the Most High already has all of that. You think about a relationship uh, where one person is, is you know, has all of the, you know, you get in a relationship with somebody and they have, they have finances, they have, they're completely uh, secure and whole. They have everything that they need all by themselves. But then you gain, you come, you come to that relationship with them and that's like you trying to trying to add money, throw money at them. You're like, I already have money. I'm not with you because I, you know, for you to add money to me, <laughs> you know, this is we're here together for this for the relationship, right? In the Most High, when we, we us coming to Him with our knowledge is irrelevant. He has the knowledge; He's giving it to us. But now he, we have to come to Him to engage with Him, to know Him, to allow Him to know us. Um, so that um so that he can so that we can uh he, he's rebuilding us right so we're allowing him to rebuild us um and he's giving us and revealing tools to us to help us in that walk right so um i hope that this made sense um again it's 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 uh the, learning the hebrew language and the identity and the culture is a beneficial tool it is a flimsy substitute <laughs> for a substantial walk with the most high and it is a horrible weapon to, to try to use against other people to tear them down for not having certain knowledges or um to to use it as a weapon i've seen it used as a weapon more than anything else um let's get to the place where we're using it as a tool to support our own walk and then we can be a light to um help others to you know that are uh, that need elements in their walk. Um, so and my prayer is that more people will also, um, um, who have rejected, 
um, be, some people, because these things have been used as a weapon by so many people, they have been turned off and they don't, and they're rejecting knowledge, this knowledge and unable to, um, you know, so now missing on necessary building blocks that are needed to enhance their walk and to give them perspective and, and to frame things and to give them um, roots um, that will help them to grow in their walk. Because a lot of people are stuck. You know, a lot of people are stuck. <laughs> you know, people um, are in, in the walls of Christianity and are stuck and have not been able to get to the next place. And need some of these, some of this understanding uh, of uh, what Yah is doing in this time, and, and that will benefit them. But they've rejected it because it has been first used as a weapon against them, and it's turned them off because they're well aware that this is not the character of the the, the Elohim, the God that they know, right? So it's important that we all humble ourselves so that we can um, um, not have any of these excuses that we can clear the table <laughs> and all come to a place where we're allowing the most high to humble us and to build us up um and to help each other to grow and be, and be built up in this walk because we are we are uh one in the messiah um and we have to tear down every wall that is uh dividing us um from each other um and that's where we're at so i pray that this um helped and um that it that it was clear. <laughs> and that is all for now. Shalom. Shalom, family. Much love.